didn't want to give him a ride anyway. <laughs> I ain't giving people rides when I do this thing, man. You ever get a speeding ticket giving somebody else a ride somewhere? The cops come up to your car, why were you speeding? And you're like, why did I pick his ass up with the question off of that? <laughs> you should be asking his life is together and it's affecting mine. <laughs> But my car had broke down, and I realized how hard it was to get rides from people, man, I did. My car had broke down. I couldn't even get a ride from my father from church. Oh. Because on Sundays, me and my family, we all go to the same church. And after church, we all go to the same place, which is my parents' house to eat dinner, you know? So if my car was broke down, I figured if I walked to church, I could easily get a ride with somebody, because, you know, a lot of us are going the same way. So after church, when church was over, I was running around scrambling, looking for a ride, but nobody gave me one. I finally see my father, he was about to get in the car. I said, I'm asking him. I walked over to him, I said, hey, Pop, is it cool if I ride with you since we going the same way? My father looked at me dead in the eyes. He said, no, nah, son, we ain't going the same way. And took off. <laughs> I got tired of asking people, so I was like, forget it, I'll just walk. On my way walking, he drove right by me. <laughs> I finally get to my parents' house. My dad was already sitting down and eating. I was hot, sweating, and tired. I said, hey man, I thought you said we weren't going the same way. He said, we wasn't. Your way was walking. <laughs> Hey, true is a big I love the state of Michigan. I really do. I know y'all probably don't like that. <laughs> I do. I love my state. But not, not for sports reasons. I love my state because we fully wrecked right now. We got, we got recreational marijuana right now. That's why I love my state. <laughs> <laughs> I moved back home like six years ago. I was depressed because it was cold and stuff like that. And I found out we was going to have recreational marijuana. I was like, shit, freeze it. <laughs> freeze it, freeze it. <laughs> in my town, though, they're going crazy with the rec stores, man. I got to live in a little bitty town. It's like a population of maybe like 25,000. We got 25 uh, dispensaries about a creek. It's crazy. We really have 25 dispensaries in Battle Creek right now, man. See, that's how the apocalypse start, you know. We got more dispensaries than restaurants right now. I see a movie coming up. Everybody gets high, gets the munchies, ain't got nothing to eat but each other. You know? <laughs> Some people say marijuana is a gateway drug. That's an opinion, but uh, I kind of think it does have some truth to it. Come on. Uh, one time I was in Michigan, this was probably like, this was about six or seven years ago. This is when you had to buy weed from a crack house, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you just got it wherever you got it. There wasn't no nice stores, no bells, no whistles, no receipts, whoever had it, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I figured out it kind of was a gateway drug. I was in Flint, Michigan one time, man, doing this show. After the show, I wanted some marijuana, and everybody directed me to this certain house, you know. And at this house, they sold everything. You know, anything you can think of, marijuana, crack, babies, whatever you need, they had. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to get in this long line, and it was crazy. It was like a long old line, I got in line, I finally get closer to the dealer, I'm like three guys away. I see one guy, he goes up to the dealer, he tells the dealer he wants some heroin. I said, ooh. Didn't come here for none of that. <laughs> the dealer takes his hand, put it in a bag of heroin, takes the heroin, put it on the scale. Heroin act takes and runs off. I said, why? Next guy went up, he wanted some crack. I said, damn, I don't want none of that. <laughs> the dealer took his hand, put it in a bag of crack, took the crack, put it on the same scale. Crack hair ran off. Then it was my turn. 
I just wanted some weed. The dealer went to put his hands in the bag of weed. I said, hey, wash your hands and clean that scale off. Of it. <laughs> I think I know why you got all these people coming back every day. <laughs>